Welcome everyone to this second episode of F1 2013 Korea and this time we're in Malaysia and I'm um, still in my Force India, haven't managed to change teams yet and we're going ch to go and check our race strategy uh, I've just started the option tiles and switch onto the prime thing lap 6 because uh, I think this is like a 14 lap race, not a 15 lap, no 16 lap race like uh, Melbourne uh, Melbourne w went quite well, I'm happy finishing 4th, that's uh, where I'm predicted to finish well no, I shouldn't have finished there but I turned up the difficulty so we shouldn't finish. We should finish about ninth, tenth would be a nice position. It's quite a good pitch, f position to finish in. Uh, I'm reading things. So I want to start normal. I have one lap plus lap of fuel. It's perfect. I don't want the car to be too heavy. I like it being light and nimble, so I can weave it through the corners. Uh, yeah. So we're about to go out. About to go out now to the track. Right, my team's getting me ready, and here we go. And out we go to the grid. Okay, so we're on the grid now. I'm starting in. I managed to qualify in P10. I got a brand new set of um, option tyres. Uh, the others, I've started to use ones because they tried. I knew I wouldn't get really high up the grid, so I decided to stick in 10th. It's a good position. I find starts are a lot harder in this game. I haven't been able to make as successful starts as I had on F1 2012, but that doesn't really make that much difference now because all these cars are taken on P12. But I'm going to get them all back into this braking zone. As you can see, look at them turning on me. Waiting for somebody to get my way in a minute. That's quite a good start, yeah. Good start, nice clean start around the first corner. P6 is a nice position to finish it. I've got Massa ahead of me. I can probably take Massa, even though he's ahead of me in the think of the drivers' championship, but I can probably overtake him. Like that. I'm not pressing my way, and I'll try and take him too. And he's backed out, and I'm in P3 somehow. Um, I've only got Hamilton and Vettel in front of me. Uh, two much faster cars than me, I doubt I'll be able to really overtake them. So, yeah, P3 is a good position to uh, be in at the moment. Keep jumping over these curbs. That's good. And then uh, we've got Perez behind me, but I have a feeling he's going to make a move somewhere, but he doesn't manage to hold them at bay. As you can see, uh, the Hamilton and Vessel are already starting to pull away really slowly. But I'm sure that'll be a lot quicker once we get onto the straights and turds of this circuit. Okay, as we're coming around the last few corners now of the lap, uh, we got. This is gonna be quite. Is it? Yep, they're pulling away now. And but I'm also keeping a sustainable gap to pros behind, which is really good. Uh, he's still there. Though. I want to try and bring it, break out second before DRS, but he's closing on me, using that slipstream really well. Uh, some cars uh, use it better than others. The McLaren does tend to use the slipstream quite well. Okay, as we're on the straight now. Uh, we're going to just skip forward to lap 2 now. I'm still in P3, managed to hold it because the tyres are starting to wear. As you can see, that huge gap now that uh, the, two, um, the two Red Bulls have. As you can see, I've got a bit of a bit of understeer there. A bit slip sliding across that. And you don't even see Alonso on the minimap. Yeah, that's how close he actually was. And there he is now, on the outside, just using DRS. No, it doesn't use DRS, using his curse somehow. He's managed to get a brilliant drive off there. Touch a little a side pod with my wheel. That's not really going to stop him making the move. I'm going to use the rest of my curves, but somehow he's got amazing traction off that corner. He's just been able to overtake me. So now I'm in P4. I'm going to stick, skip to lap 6. I have uh, pit stop lap. There's not really much happens. I just had to defend from Massa. Some violent overtake, uh, defending had to be done, but uh, I think I kept him at bay. As you see, the tyre's now red, red war, which means they're pretty much over. I couldn't probably do another lap on them. Another lap of sliding all over the place. I wouldn't be able to get out the power down very, very quickly, which wouldn't have been the best as goes we make it into the corner this pit lane it's not one of my favorites I mean Hamilton's especially when you got used tires I mean it's all right China had gravel in it that one you went Lewis Hamilton got stuck in it it was quite funny let's go into the pit lane now 61 miles an hour put the pit limiter on you can see McLaren there going past all the other pit carriages uh, forcing his way down the grid here we go pulling into ours we got the uh, front wheel head man there it's a brilliant tire change and out we go Force India uniform looks very very smart and here we go and we're going back on track getting blue flagged once there's car, a car coming up but I think that was him just there so I don't think we have anything to worry about that was an excellent pit stop from my team and they brought me on P10 so I'm going to skip forward to lap 8 the end of lap 8 where I am thankfully 
lap seven, sorry, where all the cars are pulling into the pits. This is the standard pit stop fit stage, and it's that car's pulling into pits. I've got DRS luckily on the Bottas, the Williams, and I've taken all the cars now as I've come out miles in front of them. Got no chance to defend that. P4 with a nice big gap, so I've managed to make the undercut work and hold my position, which is excellent, really. That P4, that's good. You can see I've got my uh, prime tyres on now. Uh, they're, they're really quick at warming up, warming up on this game. They already come at quite a warm temperature to try and work with, which is uh, excellent. Uh, so now we're going to come up to. There we go, get a bit of unstick. Corner cut and glided past that corner. Now we're going to move on to the final lap of races. Just a sustained period of Massa just catching me up lap by lap really slowly. And um, me managed to hold my position. So we're going up to the la end of lap 14, final two straight. Sebastian Vettel wins the Grand Prix, holding Massa at bay. A bit violent there. But that doesn't matter as we turn into the corner now. Gear one. Got the use, use my curves. You can see my tires just warm, but Massa's just there. I'm going to try and hold him off. He's got DRS, which isn't the best place to have it. And then we finish the race in fourth. Excellent. I've turned the difficulty up and it's on expert, and I'm still in fourth. This might be just because I'm quite good in Malaysia, or just the car is just. I'm much better than other people's, I'm not sure, but anyway, fourth, my teammate finished 12th again, not scoring any points for the Constructors Championship, uh, fourth in two races in a row, pretty sustainable win, so Vettel, Hamilton, and Alonso there, Massa in fifth, uh, you can't see, Rosberg in, in sixth, Sergio Perez in seventh, and Mark Webber in eighth, I was just going to look forward to the Drivers' Championship, now I'm in, uh, I'm in fourth, with a decent amount of points, Hopefully we'll just be able to stay around for not predicted to win it, not predicted to come in probably the top five to be honest. Uh, eighth, I think. No, twelfth I'm predicted to come. Uh fourth thing is still fourth, I've been me scoring all of their points. Uh, with my teammate. Now we've got a little cutscene coming up where you know the guys in the garage are happy. Even I even think Clap the Brewman. See so shaking hands with the team. Also very happy with how it's done. I uh, picked a new helmet as well. I do like this helmet, it looks very nice. I think it's a race net one. My engineer there, pat me on the back, shake my hand. Saying well done. Don't really know I could speak through a helmet, but it's working anyway. And then I'm just going to turn around to the iconic camera. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.